Hello! Hello, and welcome back to my channel! So we, today we have a non-makeup related vlog. Just um, FYI. Just like the Bernie. <laughs> the Bernie vlog. So, today, it's record store day. I didn't do the whole lining up thing before the shop opened because I was doing bridal makeup. Well, the bridesmaids makeup. And uh, yeah, that's where I was this morning. So no lining up for record store day, but I did get paid. So we can go blow some money at record store day. So we're gonna go to Record City, the place that I always go to. We're gonna go check out some records, buy some stuff, and then at the end, I'll show you what I got. So if you're a music fan, oh, by the way, I have some record store day themed nail art so I did some colored vinyls some black ones uh, my other hand has them too and some new music notes just to like <laughs> occupy the empty space all right I am here now well, here in Hillcrest making my way downtown well actually no making my way to, <laughs> to the record shop I got some stuff here. I actually want to hit up another store as well. I've never gone to this store, but it's quite popular here in San Diego. It's called M Theory. If you're from here, you're probably like, what the hell, you've never been? No, I've never been. This is the place that I'm gonna hit up, M Theory in Mission Hills. So we'll see how it's like, I've never been. Succulent goals. <laughs> Look at this, what the hell? I'm gonna take pictures of them. I actually took out my reusable bag. I forgot to do that for the other one. And I felt like an asshole asking for a plastic bag. But now I came prepared with my bag. into this little natural market called Lacey Acres. We don't have that around my hood. So I'm gonna check it out while I'm here. Look at this place, dang. They got Pacifica, they got freaking bees in here. Like these are real bees. That is very creepy, it gives me the chills. I just got the chills. But it's kind of cool at the same time. It's still kind of freaking me out. Thankfully they're like contained in that thing. So it makes me a little bit less scared. That was easily the most hipster like, grocery store in San Diego. And as I was saying that, here comes me with my freaking record store day tote bag buying kombucha. <sighs> I hate myself sometimes. Oh my God, I did not expect to have that good of a record store day. I'm here with my babies, aka my records, my new records. So we got M Theory, Record City. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had this uh, this much luck. Got a lot of stuff this time. It's gonna be a good haul. I think it actually paid off that I didn't go for a ton of record store day releases. While they're fun, Sometimes it can be a little bit expensive, so yeah, I'm actually super excited about what I got. Alright, I'm gonna start driving home and then I'll show you what I picked up. So, there you go. Orange hair girl out. <laughs> Bowie! Francis! Bowie! Okay, bye. Hola, Francis. Hola, Bowie. ¿Qué onda? ¿Qué onda? ¿Me extrañaste? 
¿Sí? Ok, vamos arriba. Vamos a abrir mi bolsa. All right, we are back home. Here's Bowie. Welcome, Bowie. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the Record Store Day Hall. Are you excited? Yeah? Saluda. Ok, so, I am back. Uh, the sun's setting, so I had to turn on my ring light. So I'm sorry if this portion of the video looks very, um, very YouTuber-y. So, it's the best I can do, ok? So we got my haul. Record City, M Theory. This was my first time going to M Theory. I don't know why, honestly. Well, maybe because I thought it was a little bit pretentious when I drove by, but it kind of is a little bit. It's very hipstery, but I liked it. I, I liked it a lot. I thought it was cool, and I'm definitely gonna keep going back to M Theory. I'm not gonna stop going to a Record City. Record City is a little rough around the edges, a little grungy, but I like it. But M Theory was really nice. Really impressed, actually. And it got a little tote bag, which is so cute. So I'm gonna start with Record City since that's the first place that I hit up. And that's the place I've been going to the longest, especially for record store day. If you've seen my previous vlogs, uh, I usually will try to get there really early, line up, <laughs> basically get first dibs on what I really, really want. Eating dill, pickle, kettle, chips. This year I didn't do that. I was busy. I was doing makeup. But I'm actually happy that I missed out on the whole lining up experience. Not that I don't like it. Because it is a big community. Usually people bring like donuts and coffee and stuff like that. But it just wasn't necessary for this year's lineup. At least for me. I'm happy that um, I got to go with more um, non-record store day releases than record store day releases. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> sorry if I'm eating and talking at the same time. I'm just a little bit hungry. Also, I picked up this mojito kombucha from from that um, grocery store that I went to and it does have alcohol you must be 21 and above to drink it and I didn't get carded I was really happy people usually think I'm really young but I'm not <laughs> I'm gonna be 30 oh man this tastes so good it's so refreshing <laughs> Synergy please sponsor me <laughs> alright now that we got that out of the way First things first, I got more sleeves for my records because I want to cover all of them and I think 40 more should be enough. We shall see. If not, I'll have to go again and get another one, another roll. And then, now for the records, I kind of went a little bit Billy Joel crazy. <laughs> I don't know why, I just, I mean, it worked out that way. So we have Billy Joel, The Stranger. That's the first one. Here you can see it without the glare. It was eight bucks and um, I love moving out. <laughs> Anthony song, so that's in here. And um, I just freaking love Billy Joel, okay? I saw a Billy Joel documentary about his shows in uh, Russia, in the USSR. Um, I think it was on Showtime. I don't remember, but it was so good. And I really loved the guy because I grew up listening to his music things to my dad, but that documentary made me appreciate him even more. Apart from Billy Joel, do have another Billy Joel here? No. I was the only one at Record City. Uh, I also picked up Paul McCartney Pipes of Peace right here. I'm going to be seeing Paul McCartney again in July. Is June or July? In the summertime here in San Diego at Peckle Park. So excited. I freaking love Paul McCartney and uh, I'm so stoked to see him yet again. I think this will be like my eighth or ninth time seeing Paul McCartney and every single time that I see him live I just want to cry and I do I have cried at Paul McCartney shows. It's just such a special concert. If you've never seen Paul McCartney, first of all you gotta go. <laughs> Second of all, you really gotta go because I don't know. I think this might be his last tour. Homeboy needs to rest. <laughs> but I love him. And I also picked up another, well, this is Wings, Band on the Run. I've been wanting this um, for a really long time. And it's such a classic album. 
I love, I absolutely love the, the cover. Linda McCartney. She's so pretty. And this is just, this is just a classic. So I had to pick it up. I saw it. It wasn't outrageously expensive. And um, yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. Paul McCartney is a legend. <laughs> and um, the last, the last record that I picked up at Record City was Beck Fuero, which is um, one of my personal favorites. I know it's not like a classic, <laughs> sorry. I know it's not like a classic Beck album, but this is pretty weird Beck, and I really, really like it. I remember the first time I heard this record, I was, this came out in 2005, so I was 15. I was just starting out high school. Yeah, I think it was a freshman in high school, and I was just like, this blew my little baby brain, and uh, first of all, I love that. <laughs> I love Que Onda Bueno so dang much, so imagine little 15 year old Laurita listening to Beck. Well, I've been listening to Beck since I was even younger when I lived in uh, Tijuana. But this album was just so dang good and um, saw it there. Wasn't too expensive, so I picked it up. Plus the album cover, <laughs> it's so weird and I love it. So now from M Theory in the little tote bag, I got a few things. One of the things I picked up was for a record store day release, but from this past Black Friday, because they also do that. I've never done record store day during Black Friday. But, um, I don't know, I've just never seen anything that has uh, appealed to me. And plus, I've always been working on Black Friday. But I saw this, and I love Casey Musgraves. So this is High Horse Remixes. And, uh... I love High Horse so much. It makes me want to dance. So I saw the remixes and I was just like, yeah, Casey Musgraves, give it to me. This I was looking for. This was one of the records that wasn't part of Record Store Day, but I just wanted to get it in my hands as soon as possible. And um, I didn't get it as soon as possible, but I got it. You know, it's the thought that counts. It's Jenny Lewis. Look at that. <laughs> okay. If I put my hair like this, then I can pretend I'm Jenny Lewis, almost. <laughs> this is On The Line, her latest record. It is a beautiful record. Honestly, I won't say it's my favorite one by Jenny Lewis, but it's definitely up there in terms of her solo and like side projects. I'm not even going to include Rilo Kylie because Rilo Kylie should be categorized in their own... <laughs> in their own list. Oh my god, I miss Rilo Kylie so much. I love Jenny Lewis so much. I love, love, love this album. I just had to get it because it's that good. And I'm gonna see her next month and I'm so dang excited to see her again. She's so beautiful, so charismatic, and um, and she's got boobs. Really nice boobs. <laughs> so, on the line. Get it. Buy it, listen to it, it's worth the listen. I also, there's more Billy Joel, I told you, I kind of want a little Billy, uh, I didn't go that crazy, could have gone crazy Earth. We also got the nylon, nylon, nylon curtain. Um, I do like the songs in here, Allentown is another great classic Billy Joel song. Like, everybody loses their shit when he plays it live. We start dancing with no rhythm, but whatever. <laughs> Again, the thought that counts. But I picked it up because um, and I've heard, I have heard it, but I just wanted to own it. There's a song, second song, it's called Laura, Laura, and um, that's my name. So, had to get it. Mainly for that reason, to be honest. But, I love Billy Joel, so there we go. Then we have two Elton John albums, because that's my dad's favorite singer. I have listened to Elton John since I was in my mom's womb. That was my first concert ever, and I saw him recently. Um, I saw him in January at the sports arena here, or the Pachanga Arena, because they keep changing the name. Sports arena. The San Diegans, it'll still be the sports arena. So I saw him um, this last January, played all the hits, it was great. 
uh, and I just really love Elton John and uh, and we're friendly like me and my dad are friendly with his keyboardist Kim and um, it was cool getting to talk to him and hearing like the backstage like post-production and the inspiration and this and that so it was cool but <laughs> we went for some older Elton John records so we have Reg Strikes Back right here Honestly, Elton John could have a whole museum with his outfits and memor memorabilia. Oh my god, I can't say that. <laughs> Sorry. And, all, and like everything. He's just, a, he's accomplished so many things during his career. And um, he's just such a cool person. I've never met, met Elton John. My dad has. I haven't. I could have met him when I saw him when I was a kid. But um, yeah, it didn't happen. <laughs> so I saw this, picked it up. My dad's gonna really enjoy that. I've been slowly but surely picking up as many Elton John records as I can just because my dad used to own all of them and my grandma threw his record store, I mean not his record store, his record collection away when he moved out. Oh my god, abuelita, <laughs> what the hell, rest in peace, but what the hell did you do? <laughs> so the last album is this one, which um, again is a classic. Elton John, old school Elton John. So we went with a lot of a lot of um, dad approved records this time around. And the only record store they release is this one, The Bird and the Bee. Their first album. It's a classic. I purchased this um, on CD when I first went to France. Didn't buy it in Paris. I bought it at a FNAC in um, Rouen, which um, was interesting because I wasn't even supposed to go <laughs> to FNAC, to the music section, but um, I had sprained my, well, I actually tore my meniscus, red in fact, while I was in France. So we took, uh, me and my teacher took a detour and um, went to see a doctor, got fitted with a knee brace and all of that stuff. And I was just like, you know, I saw Fidak, I was like, can I please go to like the music section? I've been wanting to check it out. And she's like, okay, yeah, sure. So everybody else, like all my classmates were in the museum. And then there was me browsing the CDs and the records. Uh, but my teacher was super cool and I was kind of the teacher's pet, so. Yeah, I picked that one up back in uh, back in the senior year of high school <laughs> in 2008. Fun times, fun times. This one is supposed to be a colored vinyl, I think. There's a little quote by uh, Dave Grohl who became obsessed with <laughs> the bird and the bee, which um, is really cool. I respect that. The bird and the bee is amazing. Greg Kirsten, Inara George. They're amazing. And this is such a good album. All of the Bird and the Beast albums are so damn cool. Fucking boyfriend. That one. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I think I did pretty well. Look at that. It's a pretty solid record store day haul. So, if you also participated in record store day, please let me know what you picked up in the comments below and tell me where you're from. I would love to hear um, where you guys are based. I'm from San Diego, if you didn't guess. <laughs> so I'm gonna start, um, organizing them. This is getting quite full. Um, I'll figure it out later. This is just taking up so much space. Killers, hot fuss. So I'll figure it out, but thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna show you a little clip of, um, this is the bird and the bee. This is the Bird and the Bee record from Record Store Day. It's the most beautiful vinyl I've ever seen. My favorite color is green, and this is a green marbled. So I'm like, <laughs> so happy. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're brand new. And if you want me to do more music related videos, not that I do that many, but once in a while I could do like a, I know I've, some people requested last year for me to make a, um, record collection i think i might have to if you want to see that leave it in the comments below but now uh, me and bowie are gonna enjoy some music 
play some records, enjoy the rest of our evening. And um, I'm kind of hoping this will get me a little bit buzzed. Cheers, enjoy your record store day, and go support your local record store. So yeah, that was very like anticlimactic, but this is just so good. See you later. Adios. Buenas noches. Bye. <laughs>